We found the lone people of Hong Kong. We're standing with you um, for, you know, for, uh, actually I was going to say, hello, Joshua Wong. My name is Jesus. <laughs> but I was saying, we're standing with you about that. But we are, but the main thing that seems to be an issue is this, uh, the Hong Kong uh, coronavirus, uh, the World Amateur Championships relocated and stuff like that, and there's a dog that got tested weak positive. We want you to walk in peace and faith, pray to God, pray in tongues, get filled with the Holy Spirit, Acts 1 8, you know, or pray, ask God for wisdom, what to say, do ask God to speak to you and believe God to speak to you. Pray for your leaders as they make the proper decisions. Don't be in fear. We stand with you. We thank God for President Trump, Vice President Pence. Uh, also, go. Because they're working in our country. We have a CDC.gov, which is an official outlet of information about stuff. And it tells you how, you know, that's the Center for Disease Control in the United States of America. So I'm suggesting y'all go find real proper information. Do not listen to people on the news who are in fear. Do not listen to people who are uh, on social media turning this into some political game. Is serious. Lives are important. So make sure you get your proper information. Don't walk in fear. And of course, this thing about this uh, Hong Kong publisher who helped Jimmy Lai charged with taking part in the um, protests. Uh, uh, pray for your leaders. And I don't know, it might be time for y'all to go ahead and work on a Bill of Rights. And so you might, so listen, intercede for your country. Pray in tongues for your country. Listen, Pentecostal Christians out there and in Hong Kong, start praying for your leaders and ask God, what about this? What about this? Because, you know, free speech is very, very important. Even in, the, even in the United States of America, we actually have liberal media sources that are actually, and social media sources that are cutting off information and not letting everybody see everything. So we supposedly have free speech, but we have people who are using their ability to do free speech to, you know, manipulate search algorithms. So pray for the United States of America too. This is a serious thing because we got people who are Christians and conservatives in the United States of America. And then you got these other people who just hate it and they just twist and distort all sorts of, you know, they twist and distort things. So free speech is important, but not only for just, you know, so pray for this person and for God to deal with this and help him, whatever, and give, give wisdom so the proper stuff to come out. But listen, free speech is extremely important. Free speech is very important because even in the United States of America, like I said, we got wicked people who are in charge of newspapers, in charge of social media, and they play with their little algorithm and try to twist stuff, you know, so that you can't find stuff that they don't like. Wow. But anyways, happy leap year. 366 days in the year. Stand, we're staying, we're standing with you. We pray for y'all. We pray for you. Uh, we the Inspiration House Network staff, we pray for you every day. You know, so we we do pray for you every day. So we thank the Lord for blessing you. Um, I think we pray for you. No, yes, we pray for you every business day. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, people of Hong Kong, people of Hong Kong, we pray for the people because we're concerned about, we always, we, we, but anyways, we, uh, we love you and happy leap year, you know, 365.25 won't fit on a calendar for days wise. So you got 366 days. You got extra days this year to reach the very best God has for you. So whether you like Joshua Wong or China or not, pray for Joshua Wong in China because everyone's going to stand before the Lord Jesus Christ for what they do and what they did with the virus, what they're doing with politics, whatever. So whether you like him or not, pray for them and pray for your leaders so you can lead a quiet, peaceful life. Live with peace.